point. I mean, it's just kind of like uh, a, a rushing brick wall, and no matter what you do, there's, there's no way to stop it. I'm guessing it's still going to be Category 5 uh, at landfall. At the very best case, I think we could get maybe weakened down to a moderate 4, and that's we're talking extreme weakening there. So uh, what folks need to realize is that, you know, we, we knew this was going to happen. You know, we, we knew that this was what was going to end up happening sooner or later. This is the scenario we feared, a Category 5 hurricane. Uh, we knew that the Camille would happen again, and I remember I t talked to Matt Carrier back in spring, and, I, and he said, man, I think we'll, we might see our next Camille in the next 10 years, and he goes, it could be this year with how hot the waters are. And uh, I talked to Senior Pepper as well, Mike Adcock, and told him he, he was sent out for a He says he doesn't even think it's peaked yet. So what we're looking at here, folks, is a scenario uh, that we've only been in contact with really once, and that was Hurricane Camille on the Mississippi coastline. Either way, this storm's going to come in closer, but I think it'll be a little bit worse than Camille, especially nowadays uh, with the damage. So, um, yeah, I mean, I can't see any shear in the picture. I see the dryer, but the circulation just keeps pushing. So, uh, uh, controlling their environment a little more and, and with this on the trend of uh, expanding the pressure even has dropped in hours observations it does take uh, a while for that to uh, to feel the effects on there it's possible that uh, that absolutely there's potential for there for it to get stronger would you uh, I know that you're forecasting a uh, uh, minimal five to come in here maybe a four but uh, would you agree that is it is it possible this thing could be uh, as strong as a Labor Day hurricane, even as large as it is, and no Iowa replacement is going to happen, and this thing could actually continue to strengthen. Uh, how, how strong do you think that this thing could be potentially as it came in? No, I don't think it's going to get any stronger. I disagree with that strongly. I think it's peaked out already. The western side of it, the cloud mass is beginning to break up a little bit on the western side of it as a trough, and the dry air begins to work its way in. The saving thing in terms of the intensity of the hurricane is the fact that it's picked up forward speed, so it's going to reduce the amount. <coughs> excuse me, it's going to reduce the amount of time we have before landfall for the dry air to get worked its way into the circulation. So I think uh, clearly we can see that the western side of it, the cloud mass is being impinged. I don't think it's going to drop below 900. Um, I think we already would have seen that if that was going to happen, and it's very, very uncommon for uh, northward moving, uh, due north moving, or north north west or north northeast hurricanes in the Gulf of Mexico to increase in intensity as they're moving uh, to the northeast. There are some exceptions to that, like Opal, which hit that pool of warm water, but with uh, the warm water there uh, blocked out and everyone knows where these pools are now, I don't think we're looking at any surprises like that. Uh, so I think it's maxed out right now at 905 or 908, and I don't think it's going to drop any further than that. The weather weakens to the 925, 928 type of thing, which I'm talking about. That I'm not certain of, but I don't think it's going to get any stronger. Okay. Um, you know, that's the uh, uh, good points. I mean, I, uh, looking at the visible right now, I agree that it, uh, if you look at the outflow and if you're looking down, it looks like there could be a little more drier um, showing up on the north and west side of the system. I don't know about the north so much, but definitely on the west side of the system, uh, there's a little more dry air there. But uh, um, it is an annular hurricane, correct? And, and uh, it, it, I mean, the core of that system is, is pure that's going to affect it any, really anything. Do you expect, yeah, the core of it is, this is an annular hurricane in your feelings, right? Yes, it is. Uh, it looks like it's, it's a classic annual definition of what one is. Uh, the satellite pictures are great. I presume everybody's downloading the satellite pictures and using them for wallpaper and desktop stuff later on. I certainly am. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. You got that right. I've changed mine a couple times. <laughs> so uh, that's what this system has done. So, uh, um, yeah, it's uh, an incredibly uh, uh, other course. Uh any feelings about an eye wall replacement? You know, to, you know. When I guess we know it's tough to forecast those. Uh, do, do you have any feelings towards that? Do you think maybe that uh, this dry air possibly that might be in training might be a sign that there, there will be another uh, eye wall replacement cycle happen? No, I don't think it's going to do that. I think it's just going to hold it where it is. And uh, I haven't seen any signs of an eye wall replacement cycle going on. Uh, if anybody's seen a new recon lately, uh, let me know, but I haven't seen one, not, not as of yet.
So I think it's going to hold as it is. It's just a very impressive hurricane, and it's got a huge eye, and it's got a lot of mass, and we're just talking minor fluctuations here. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's an exceptional event. And, of course, for those of us who like to do the winter analog type of thing, uh, 1969, 1970, I mentioned that a couple times. Last 1969 was very active. Miles, a whole lot of help at this point, um, or is it pretty much a moot point what the models are saying to us? No, at this point, I think the values of the models are rapidly falling apart. I think the 12Z cycle, maybe the 18 cycle this evening is going to be the most important of the two, but uh, of, of those cycles. But I think at this point, the model information is pretty much coming. Uh, if it was going. Yep, that's kind of was my feeling in the water. They're, they're just, uh, yeah, the, the, the higher speed and the models just uh, they're slowly kind of becoming, uh, you know, not really all that important here. Um, pretty soon we're going to start to be able to pick up the eye on radar, actually, and we'll be able to track this with uh, more radar. Granted, it'll be the angle, uh, another good tool that uh, we can use uh, to watch this thing come in as far as direction and whatnot. Um, I, I want, I'm looking at uh, the buoy out there, 42001, which is just south uh, to about 180 nautical miles of the west wind. So, and the pressure is falling rapidly as well. Uh, the water temperature there is 85.5 degrees. Uh, in fact, looking at the water temps, uh, they were yeah, the highest I've seen. Of course, of course, they fluctuate a little bit during the day. It looks like uh, yesterday, late in the day, they were up to 87 degrees, almost 86.9. So anyway, some very warm waters out there yet, um, according to uh, uh, observation from the, uh, some of the, the, one of those stations that's out there pretty close to the system. Yeah, we're running out of things to say exactly about this. It's just a lot of people are just kind of mouth is opening. The, the data keeps coming in, and we're just watching. And it's going to be a monster. There's not a much, There's just pretty much no no doubt about it. Uh, we're we're going to have a a, a a monster hurricane here uh, rolling in. Uh, Kevin, you had some comments that you wanted to pass on, and please do. Uh, yeah, uh, you guys have been talking about the uh, <clears throat> the scientific. Uh, uh, view of the hurricane in the United States, and I was looking at the. Uh, in, I've been doing some research on the city of New Orleans, and uh, there are a lot of international companies that actually are located, uh, have their headquarters in New Orleans, and they include uh, BP, British Petroleum, uh, Chevron, ConocoPhillips, and uh, Shell. And those are four of the lar some of the four of the largest gas suppliers in the United States and Canada. And a uh, a hurricane that uh, affects this area is going to really severely affect the. Uh, uh, the, the gas supply in the entire nation, and it also serves as one of the largest ports for the Latin American for Latin American imports into the United States and Canada. So this is going to be more of a, a national effect than an uh, international effect than just a regional effect. Oh, that's a good point, uh, Kevin. You know, we talked about it. That this huge port probably closed up yesterday. People flew off of it, if not even. Um, like I think I mentioned before, someone posted in in the uh, team speak about uh, the and uh, you, you can you can bet your sweet baby the insurance companies have already uh, been budgeting another half a million for lobbyists to uh, to hop on this one because of which last year they whined and complete their profits were up uh, a great deal. They still had drew a good profit last year, so uh, yeah, it's a fighting battle from here on out. And those are going to be some of the repercussions from this system. Uh, you made a very good point about the the oil. And, uh, and, it was, and we're already complaining about the prices. It, it's it's going to get out of hand here. So, um, yeah, another buoy I want to mention here. There's another buoy, just uh, since I'm holding this button, uh, 42040. This is uh, 64 miles south of Dauphin Island. Uh, right now they've got east-northeast winds at 32 uh, 31 knots, that is. Wind gusts to 37 knots, basically, and, and about 19-foot seas. So, and, and you can clearly see things are deteriorating. But that's actually pretty close to, uh, uh, I mean, that's, that's close to the shoreline here. That this isn't down south like that other buoy had. So this is a long ways from the system here, and they've already got uh, basically tropical storm force conditions there, and waves are already uh, approaching the waves. So, uh, Dave, I'm wondering if you have some comments related to this stuff. I'm, I know that... Uh, that you actually uh, do some work related to some of this stuff. I'm not, I don't want uh, don't want you to let the cat out of the bag in that regard at all. But 